Picture yourself as a happy parent. You have it all figured out. Your baby is taking its first steps and you're ready to get back to your career. A sibling? Maybe later. Now, imagine instead of making that choice, your future was left to chance. An absurd idea, isn't it? For many people, it isn't. Women who decide to use the family planning method in developing countries face a reality unfamiliar to us. Their desired method is often unavailable. Women in Senegal were left empty-handed 80% of the time. Why is that? Clinics get their supplies from local warehouses. When they run out, they have to ask for a refill and find time to go and get them. If a woman comes by to pick up her contraceptive at that very moment, well, that's just bad luck for her. As a result, many women don't get the contraception they want when they need it and get pregnant before they're ready. For a business, that would be a terrible approach. Stores constantly restock what's selling well to make the best profit. That makes companies successful, but it also works for development. Clinics in Senegal started to collect data on how much of which product was used in each facility, making sure stocks met women's actual needs. A professional logistics expert helped clinics manage delivery and supplies in real time. This new strategy is a game changer. Now, a woman can pick up her contraceptive any day and gets what she wants more than 98% of the time. So, what's the insight here? Only when help is tailored to what people want and need can it make a real difference. But to do that, we need to learn about those needs first. Collecting and using data means women are heard and have a say. It shows us what they need to thrive. Getting to plan a pregnancy is a first step, but really, it's planning your future and fulfilling your aspirations, which shouldn't be a privilege, but normal for everyone around the world.